Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today I'm going to show you how to play the Blarney Pilgrim. Bloody Pilgrim was a request from Shari. Thank you for asking for this. If you're enjoying my videos, by the way, then do please consider joining me on Patreon. I'm going to give you two versions of the Blarney Pilgrim, a simple uh, unornamented one and a more complex ornamented version. It's a three-part tune, um, sometimes called a double jig. And this is particularly famous because it appears uh, in the dance scene on the film The Titanic. Uh, played by the band Gaelic Storm. Um, one of the best recordings of this that I know of is by the fiddler Kevin Burke back in 1976 playing uh, on an album with Paul Brady and Andy Irving. Uh, and I, I really love that one. First of all, I'll give you the plain unornamented version. I'll give you two in. One, two. <laughs> say about this. Uh, firstly, the, the chords are slightly amorphous in that it's difficult to tell whether it's in D or in G. I think the middle part, um, the second section, definitely is in G, but the, um, the, the beginning, it kind of, it, it could head towards D or G. Um, I would say that the first and third parts are in D and the third is in G, but that's a matter of opinion. Um, when it comes to bowing, if you're not experienced with this kind of music, then there's a danger of wanting to play And if you recognise that as the way that you are bowing it, then uh, you have some work to do. Uh, I do have a video all about bowing for jigs, but I'll very briefly tell you that you've got to have the, the bows really short, so no 6 inch bows or anything like that and try and give a stress on the first of each three. As opposed to that kind of thing. And that will make it much smoother. I like to do a mixture of slurs and separate bows, but there's lots and lots of different ways of arranging those slurs. I usually try and start each bar on a down bow unless I've got a reason otherwise, and quite often there is a reason otherwise. Uh, so let's do that all again, and this time with the backing.
Okay, now let's look at the more complex version, and this is based mostly on the playing of Kevin Burke. So we've got, uh, in the very first bar, we've got a treble, which is a bowed triplet. So instead of... We've got... So, uh, the bowed triplet is played with three very short bows, done almost as a twitch. When you're teaching a fiddle player, you almost never tell them to tense the arm, but uh, this is the one exception. It's, it's done with a tension, which for me goes all the way from the wrist up to the elbow. Um, this is probably one of the hardest ornaments to do, so if you struggle with this, then don't worry about it. I do have a video all about the treble, which might help you. So we're going... Now that is what's called a double cut. So it's just a little flick of the A, the B, and into the melody note, the A. And it's usual with these that you slur the ornaments into the melody note. Another one, another double cut. And this is a roll. Those are the notes you play, but the timing... You do almost all of the note before you even start the ornament. And then you do them as fast and as light as you can. So the idea is more a disturbance to the note rather than um, three clear notes. So let's just take it up to there. And then we've got... So the same again. Let's do all of those two lines. Okay, then we've got a roll on the on the first note of the B section. Okay, so here we're going a double cut on the D E D. And we're slurring all the way through those five notes. This is a, um, kind of like another double cut. Uh, this is a double cut again, a B and an A. Okay, then um, next bar has two bow triplets or trebles. And I, I really like doing trebles on jigs. Most people just only do them on reels, but it, it works really well here. Notice that we're, although the um, the two lines of this third section are more or less the same. We are doing different ornamentation. So, bar one, we're doing that. When it repeats, we're doing it straight, but then putting the treble in the next one. So let's do those two lines with the repeat. Having shown you all these ornaments, I don't want you to think that I'm telling you this is how it's played. <laughs> what I'm showing you is possibilities. This is how Kevin Burke decided to play it um, on one particular day back in 1973. And in fact, I think he probably played this two or three times and each time he played it, he would have played it slightly differently. So the important thing as a long-term goal with ornamentation is to learn to be able to do them where and when you feel like it, rather than learning them as permanently attached to any particular tune. And as regards what is the point of ornamentation, I do go into this in what I consider a quite interesting video called Ornamentation, What's the Point? Uh, I'll play you out with um, once through this up to tempo. If you would like a copy of the docs for this, then do subscribe and send me an email. And if you would like to get um, a zip file with PDFs of all 350 of my uh, videos, 
then do consider joining me on Patreon. That is one of the many benefits you can get there. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon. Thank <laughs> you.